made in the likeness of man. He became one of us. He looked like us. He talked like us. He walked like us. He hungered like us. He was thirsty like us. He got tired like us. You remember the story in John chapter 4? When he came to the world, the Bible said he was, he was tired, he was thirsty. He sat by the wall waiting to drink. He was limited like us. He said there was limitation around him like us. He had to walk from one place to another, just like you and me. He had to be transported. He had to feed. How he limited himself. That is why I would not let anything else I will not let any other authority have its dominion over my life. I will not let it. And so you, listening to me, no other authority shall exert itself over you. Hallelujah. We must take advantage of what Jesus did. We must, we must benefit from that. We must pronounce and declare that in our lives. We must declare that in our families. And that's why I'm declaring that to you this morning. No evil shall befall you. No plague, no plague, no plague shall come near your dwelling. He went down the rung of the ladder until he, he, he went, he became a man. But he didn't just become a man. He became a lowly man. He's going down the ladder now. He came from the top as a son. He became a man. And he was not the most influential. He was not the most glorious man in his day. He was not the king. He was not the, the emperor. He was not the governor. He became a lowly man, a carpenter. A carpenter of the lowliest city of Nazareth of Galilee. Nazareth of Galilee that was talked against, was made fun of, was called the you know Galilee of the Gentiles, an unqualified people, a place that uh, full of outcasts. That's where he came from. All of that is to identify with us. Listen to this. He did that to identify. So he could touch every sphere of humanity. I want to really make this, you understand. To touch every sphere, every realm of humanity. That is why he, he, he loved to sit with sinners. And, and the Pharisees could not understand that. If he's God, if he's a prophet, if, if, if he's a prophet, if he claims to be the Christ, how come he's sitting and drinking with prostitutes, you know, and, 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 and sinners, and, 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 and the, the outcasts and the wayward ones? Because he wanted to identify if you listen to me this morning, he has fully identified with you. Wherever your struggle is, he has fully identified with you. Whatever your challenges are, he has fully identified with you. The identification is so that he can remove you from that and put you where you belong. Hallelujah.